Hey, Tiffany. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's kind of, it's not really loud, I guess, but somebody's mowing grass a few houses down, and I don't know. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm also out of the frame. Hey, Stacy. My dog's out here, too. Usually she's pretty good about being quiet, though. She doesn't bark a whole lot. Hey. So, for today's Sunday sit-down, I wanted to talk, I guess I should move this. I wanted to talk about um, keeping your business going after everything opens back up. So, we've seen, at least in West Virginia, I don't think Virginia's done a whole lot, but at least in West Virginia, we've seen that our governor has um, slowly started opening things back up. So more and more people are going to be going to work as that progresses um, in the weeks coming. So a big thing right now is that a lot of people are on social media. So a lot, a lot more people than usual are seeing our posts, which I think is a part of the reason why, um, you know, we're having sales numbers that are Christmas numbers instead of regular April numbers. Um, don't get me wrong. I don't think I'm not saying that to say that us as consultants are not working our business more or, you know, doing all that we can to, you know, promote our business and work our business and get those sales. But I do think that a lot more people are on social media and a lot more people are seeing our posts and a lot more people are acting on things. Um, so once this is all over, the question is, you know, what happens then, right? So um, last month we had 780 director promotions. Um, Caitlin Simpson, we're trying to see if she can get to, uh, no Dolly, to uh, director this month. And I think she's going to get it quite honestly. Um, so we're, I'm about to put her on director watch. So, <laughs> um, and for me anyway, last month I was like, awesome. You know, we had director. That's great. Um, let's see if we can do it next month. Well, I'm definitely going to hit director numbers this month. We are very, very close to me hitting director numbers again this month because you guys are freaking killing it. Um, it's not just my numbers that go into that. It's, it's y'all's too. And so everybody is just killing it this month and doing really great. Um, but again, after everything is over, after quarantine's over, everything's lifted, you know, everybody's back to work and things like that. How do we keep going? The thing about it is these people that you're seeing, especially your newer customers right now, um, and this is for whether you've been in Cincy for a long time or whether you have just joined Cincy this month or, I don't know, yesterday, I don't know. Um, if you will take care of your customers that you're gaining during this time, they will stay loyal to you and they will continue to do their business with you and, you know, host parties and maybe even join under you one day. So. I always talk about doing thank you notes, but I don't know if I've ever gone into like a huge amount of detail on thank you notes and what, um, what I mean by that exactly. So yes, send them a thank you note, something like handwritten. It can be on a post-it note. I don't care what you do. It doesn't have to be anything. Yes, exactly. Stacy, follow up, follow up, follow up. Um, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. If you want to buy some cheap little cards at Walmart, I've done it. I still do it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, or if you just want to write them a little note that says, hey, thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate the, the you know, your support. Um, then that's fine too. I don't think that there's any right or wrong way to do thank you notes as far as like writing them out and what you put them on. Um, what I do think though is that, is that you write the thank you note, you send it. Um, I would always recommend to put a sample in there, whether it's a wax sample, super cheap, you know, felt wax sample. I put... Um, I know we give all of our consultants information on making felt samples um, when you join, so you should know how to do that. Um, you can get those felt pieces from Etsy or the consultant store, either one. Um, depending, it may be faster to get it from Etsy right now, it just depends. Um, but put some kind of sample in there. Even, you know what, even if it's just a, a scratch and sniff snicker, st snicker, sticker that we offer, um, 
We offer those in the consultant store. I know um, in the join kits, I believe they are sending out either laundry or body samples. Um, those are great to put in there too, especially if you have a card because you can slip it, you know, inside the card, unless it's whiffs. Whiffs are a little too much to put in there. Um, but if you're using a card, then you can put body or laundry samples in there. Um, disclaimer, it, you might get busted. I it probably won't, but it might. So just disclaimer. Um, but usually what I do is I'll give each person who orders in their thank you note a felt sample for maybe it's the scent of the month for that month. Um, maybe it's just a scent that I really like or just a scent that I have laying around that's available. Like I have, um, I might have a scent from last year that's available right now that I've been using in my own personal stash and I'll use it to make some felt samples. You can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's no money out of your pocket. Also, Caitlin Simpson has said before, um, when you have your perpetual party reward or you have host rewards, get your three pack of bars that you would like to uh, make samples, make felt samples with for your customers. Um, when I use the felt samples or the felt pieces that are from the store, uh, the consultant store, the wax bar shapes, um, I usually get about 45 samples per bar, which is unheard of, especially if people have been using like molds and they make an actual molded wax with, or even cutting your wax up. You're not going to get near that amount by doing that. But these felt samples, you can get way more out of them. Um, and it'll vary, of course, by the type of felt that you use. Anyways, so when you're sending that sample in there for your customers, um, don't leave it at that. We've talked before also about when you're sampling out to people, make sure that you follow up and check and say, hey, how'd you like that sample? I want to know because maybe that will help you in the future um, with recommending scents for them. Um, it'll help you basically get your foot in the door right there and say, hey, how'd you like that, uh, you know, sample? Um, they may even want to place another order then. Not always, but they may want to. Um, plus, it makes them aware that you are still there. So you send them that sample in the mail um, and they try it out, whatever, sniff it. Um, you get back with them a couple days after and say, hey, how'd you like that scent? And first of all, they're thinking about it again, right? Maybe they forgot about it, but they're thinking about it again now. And, um, excuse her. But the point is, make sure you're following up and make sure you're still, they still know that you're there, right? Um, Let's see here. What else do I have here? Um, also, here's another thing. So you follow up when you send the sample in the in the mail for your, with your thank you note. You also need to follow up um, maybe a little bit after um, they have received. Okay, so here's here's the timeline I'm thinking here. So they order. You send the thank you note a couple days later after they order. They're probably not going to get their order until maybe a week later, depending on the time frame, obviously, as we all know. Time frames are a little different right now. Sometimes they're a lot sooner. Um, but anyways, so they order, you send the thank you note, and then they get their order. So after they get their order, maybe give them a couple of days. But, uh, or maybe you saw that their order got delivered that day. So you can you can track their orders too. And I like to, to watch Workstation and watch my emails because we will get an email for orders that were placed through our PWS um, to let us know when an order is on the way to the customer. Um, keep track of your orders. Uh, if you see that they've received it, check in with them and say, hey, did you receive your order? You know, it looks like you got it today. Um, they'll say yes or no, whatever, and then tell you if they like it, if they have already got it and they sniff something, right? Um, and then if they've got something, even if it's regardless of what they got, uh, maybe check with them like, excuse me, like a couple days later, a week later, and say, hey, you know, I just wanted to check and make sure that you're satisfied with everything you bought. Um, you know, how you're liking it, what's your favorite thing, and um, that's, again, following up with somebody. So, you talk to them when they ordered, maybe, maybe, I don't know. If they didn't order through you, maybe just send them a thank you text and say, hey, thank you so much for ordering, I really appreciate that, or a message on Facebook, however you communicate with them, um, or email. I have one lady that I only communicate with her through email. That is literally the only way she wants to talk, and that's the only way we talk. Um, so, I'll send her a thank you through email. Say thanks for your order. Um, couple days later you send a thank you note 
That's your second point of contact. Soon after, they, uh, oh, soon after, you ask them how they like the sample, and they get their order after that, and then you check and see how they like their order. That's five times that you're contacting this person. And no, that is not bugging them or freaking them out or whatever. This is you providing good customer service. And let me tell you something. If somebody doesn't want you to contact them all the time, they're going to tell you. They're probably not going to do that, though, because all you're doing is checking in and making sure they liked what they got, right? And that's really good customer service. A lot of these comp co the companies don't offer that anymore, okay? That, that doesn't happen if it ever did in the first place for some of them, right? So... Um, I can't remember who it was. One of my customers not too long ago said it, that she thought it was really classy that I send a thank you note because nobody does that anymore. Um, another one called me out on Facebook and said, hey, thank you so much for, you know, my thank you gifts and my thank you note. Um, you know, in a time where this is never done, you know, I ordered from this place so many, oh, she said she ordered from Bath and Body Works. Sorry to sling them out there, but, um, and she said, I never get a thank you note. I never get, you know, free samples or anything like that from Bath and Body Works. I never get that. And I've ordered for them from them so many times in my life. She said, but I ordered from Jessica one time and she sent me a thank you note with samples and she really appreciate and I, I could tell that she really appreciated me. Because I did. Because this girl, I mean, I knew that she was a hardcore Bath and Body Works person. And um she I think the first thing she ordered was one of my mystery bags. And uh, she was excited about what she got, of course, and she really liked it. And she, she, the biggest thing she was happy about, and I don't think Bath and Body Works has oils, I'm talk, so she may have bought them from somewhere else. But she was really excited that our oils are so potent. She didn't have to use a ton of oil in her diffuser to get that scent diffused into the air, which is really cool because I know already that, you know, since he uses these really high quality oils, but I had never used anybody else's, so I never realized that with other companies, maybe you have to use more than what you do with Sensei. So I thought that was really cool. Just a little nugget of uh, truth there for you. <laughs> but anyways, that's five points of contact that you have with this person. And the more you talk to them, the more they will think about you when they smell their wax or when they smell their diffuser, their uh, oil, or when they see their warmer sitting over there that's super beautiful and it really just goes with their decor and they love it and they're like, oh man, I got that from Jessica. Oh man, you know, maybe I need to stock up on some wax again, whatever. And it's amazing the fact that you contacting them and you being in contact with them will make them think of you when they see something Scentsy. And they may go on Facebook and have, I don't know, a couple other friends that sell Scentsy as well. Apparently this bee's gonna bug me. Um, but when they see their post about whatever they're offering from Scentsy, right? They're like, oh man, I need to get with Jessica because I think I really want that, you know? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Always do thank you notes for a uh, party guest order. Um, I still have to do thank you notes actually for uh, Samantha Price's party from where she, uh, we did a relaunch for her and I ran the party and then she of course joined Cincy and they ordered through her website. Well, I need to do my thank yous because I was doing that free uh, hand soap and it hasn't come in yet. So I posted in their group the other day. I was like, hey, listen, I did not forget about y'all. I really, we really appreciate y'all. Um, just letting you know it's coming. <laughs> But yes, most definitely. Because the thing about it is, especially for party guests, um, when you send a thank you to party guests, you can add a little thing in there like, hey, you know, if you want to host a party and earn free Scentsy like, your, like such and such, whoever the friend was, did, um, let me know. We'll hook you up with a personal shopping link. We'll set you up a party on Facebook, however you would like to do it. That's a, that's a foot in the door right there. And that helps you to grow your customer base. I always love to book parties off of parties that you have. Because when you book parties off of parties that you have, that's yet another... Okay, so your party, you have people in there already that you didn't know because you have some someone who hosted for you. And then they get their friends. And you don't know all their friends. So then, one of those friends 
books a party and then you get a whole other set of friends or family or whatever, right? So, excuse me, my nose itches. Oh. So yes, absolutely, absolutely. Always, always do thank you notes. Um, and especially for them, because like I said, you can get your foot in the door with a party. You can, um, and the, uh, it's same, same kind of concept, basically, you know, you are providing good customer service for them because they may have ordered from someone else in the past and then they order from this party to support their friend, you know, and then you send them a thank you note and whoever the other consultant was didn't send them a thank you note. Well, they're probably going to be a little more loyal to you because you took care of them and you provided that great customer service. And I don't say that to be, I don't know, catty, anything like that. I don't mean it to be that way. Absolutely, I don't. Um, but it's very important to take care of your customers because otherwise these, cu these customers will just hop from consultant to consultant. But the person who takes care of them, they're going to stay with. And it's just the way it is. And I think I would be the same way. Uh, you know, if I if I order from somebody uh, from, I don't know, a different DS company, and they don't send me a thank you note, it's like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, but if I order from someone else because I'm supporting my friend who's doing a party, and they send me a thank you note, and they're like super appreciative, well, hell yeah, I'll give you another order. Why not? Sorry, excuse the language. I got excited there. Um, Ashley, listen, go ahead and do it. Listen. I think that um, even now, I would still go back and send them thank you notes um, because there's no statute of limitations on that, in my opinion. Whatever parties you've done so far, if you have not sent thank you notes to the guests, go find them in your workstation and go send them a thank you note. Whether you do it through email, if that's all you have, or you do, you know, a handwritten thank you note. Handwritten, I think, is number one. I think that's number one because that really shows that you took time out of your day to sit down and write that note and send that to them. Um, but, yeah, I say go back and go back and send them. <laughs> um, we'll see here. But, yeah, I mean, that's... That's the biggest thing I can tell you about keeping the, the momentum going because we're going to get to a point where, you know, everything's going to open back up. People are going to be back at work. Um, and that's great, um, obviously, for the economy and for everybody. But, you know, we want to keep this momentum going. We want to continue to grow our businesses. And if we take care of our customers, our new people, our whoever, then that will seriously help us out. I'm going to tell you another thing too. Um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, NFL pre-order. So, or pre-sale, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's a nice breeze. So, um, people go on your site, they create an account, they pre-order the item. It's going to require that they create a free account um, on checkout so that they can get an email sent to them and for security reasons so that that is their pre-order they've got it nobody else can get it right um, if you want and if maybe your customers not really tech savvy um, you can create your own account if you haven't already I have one already because I have Cincy Club through my website right um, if you want you can create a free account and you can do these pre-orders for these people collect the money on your own whether you do it through square venmo you know whatever um paypal and make sure you do ten dollars plus tax and the tax is based on where um on the shipping address i believe i don't know if there is a shipping address on this i don't know anyways tax make sure you get tax uh, i would base it on where they live because it's going to be shipped there eventually. So, um, if you are doing it, you collect the money, you go in on your account on your PWS, okay? Um, and click, uh, you know, choose the ones you want, add them to your cart. You do have to click the little box on each one to... Um, Set that says that you read, you know, the disclaimer that comes along with it. Um, and I would even just copy and paste that 
and send it to your customer. That way they see all that information, even though they're not going on the website and doing it themselves. Um, because if they don't, you know, pay the rest of the money in September or October, then they lose that $10 deposit. And that's something that they need to know up front. Always, absolutely. When you're, uh, make sure when you're uh, advertising this, you either say it in your post or you let your customers know if they don't pay the rest of the money in September and October, which is only 35 bucks, but I'm just saying, we gotta tell them, um, then they lose that $10 deposit, okay? Um, what was I talking about? Oh, 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 tying this together. Um, I didn't go into that super in detail. If you have any questions, let me know. Maybe I'll do another live or something like that. But all the FAQs are on Workstation. I think there's also a video on there that you can watch that explains it as well. So that will help also. Um, anyways, um, tying this into thank you notes, follow-up, things like that. I am most definitely sending a thank you note to everyone who pre-orders on my website. Um, I have one guy that's friends with Travis that pre-ordered. I'm going to send him a thank you note. Um, I have somebody from Nebraska that I've never met in my life that pre-ordered. I'm going to send a thank you note. Let me tell you a little story. Um, the child pre-sale, a.k.a. Baby Yoda. Um, I had someone who lives in my area um, pre-order him on my website. I have no idea who they are. I never met him in my life. Um, but I sent them... Let's see here. Did I send him a thank you note for that? I think I did. I think I sent him a thank you note for that, for pre-ordering. Then I sent, um, back when I, back last month when I sent my, um, hey, how are you doing, uh, little cards with a couple samples in them, um, to everybody who had ordered in the past year. Um, I sent one to, you found Dolly? You found Dolly? Good. Come on, Dolly. Hey, Mom. Hey, baby. Everybody's waking up. Um, I sent, I sent that person. Um, good job. I sent that person one of those also. And, um, Dolly, get down, please. Hey, get down. I sent her. I think it's a her. I don't know. Uh, one of those notes with some samples. And then I subscribe. I set up my newsletter subscribers in Mailchimp, so they all got an email saying that they had subscribed to my newsletter or whatever. And she sent me an email back and said, "Hey, thank you so much for your samples that you sent um, a couple weeks ago. I really appreciated the note." Um, so I said, "You're welcome." You know. And then I sent out a an email on Friday or Saturday um, to all my newsletter subscribers, just saying, um, you know, Mama. what we got offered right now. What, baby? Where's the part outside? It's down there in the, in the on the ground. Um, so I sent, oh, I sent that email out. Jordan, will you shut the door, please? Dolly, you shut the door, please, baby. Thank you. I sent that email out, and then, like, the next morning, I, I must have been Friday, I sent it. Then the next morning, I had an order from her on my website. A couple packs of pods. That's all it was. But... That was much appreciated. I mean, that's more PRV for me, right? But she really appreciated that I sent that note out, that I sent her a thank you note, that I, you know, was including her in the communications, even though she's never ordered anything from me, or she had never ordered anything from me before, and it was just a pre-sale thing. She's white. She's white. Yeah, she's white, and she has black on her, too. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here, since everybody's waking up. But... I just wanted to go over those things, and I really think that following up with your customers, okay, I really think that following up with your customers is the way to keep the momentum going. Um, it may slow down a little bit when everything's over. I don't know. Quite honestly, this is all something we've never experienced before, so we don't know. It may just keep going full steam ahead, but I think it's important that we follow up with our customers, make sure that they know that we are, we are here for them, and you know that we appreciate them. And that is what's going to keep our business going even after everything is over with. So, thanks for watching. Have a happy Sunday and talk to you soon.